Hi and welcome to our lesson on an introduction to halving. Here we have two counters. To halve them, we divide them into two equal parts. We have one counter on the left and one counter on the right. So half of two is one. Here we have four counters. To halve them, we divide them into two equal parts. We have two counters on the left and two counters on the right. So half of four is two. Here we have six counters. To halve them, we divide them into two equal parts. We have three counters on the left and three counters on the right. So half of six is three. Here we have eight counters. To halve them, we divide them into two equal parts. We have four counters on the left and four counters on the right. So half of eight is four. Here we have ten counters. To halve them, we divide them into two equal parts. We have five counters on the left and five counters on the right. So half of 10 is 5. All of the numbers that we have halved are even. We can only halve even numbers to give an answer that is a whole number. Even numbers end in 2, 4, 6, 8 and 0. Here we have 8 counters. Unlike the previous examples, we can't simply split them into two equal parts with a clear line. So instead, we will share them into two equal parts. We have four counters on the left and four counters on the right. Half of 8 is 4. Here's a chance for you to practice. For this exercise you can use coins or counters, otherwise you can download and print the accompanying activity sheet. If you are using the activity sheet you can draw the counters below and cross out a counter for each one that you have drawn like so. Pause the video now and have a go. We will share the counters equally into two halves. We have seven counters on the left and seven counters on the right. So half of 14 is seven. Here is another practice activity. Halve the 18 counters by sharing. Pause the video and have a go. We will share the counters equally into two halves. We have nine counters on the left. and nine counters on the right. Half of 18 is nine. Thank you for watching.
If you would like further practice, more questions are available on our website.